Welcome to Fight Right Bite Size. Today we are looking at an uppercut, which is a punch that comes in on the vertical line, either aiming for the chin or the solar plexus. From your guard position, you're going to be dropping your fist down. Again, this is a prep. This shows our part of the punch is coming. This is for stage combat purposes only. So we drop it here and we're pulling back slightly. We're making the movement slightly bigger than we would in reality to give a signal and only to our partner to, to give a live audience a chance to realise what's about to happen so they don't miss the movement. So we're going to pull back slightly, we're dropping the fist down. We then have our fist coming up in a vertical position. So the fist follows through first, then the elbow comes up and it's coming straight up. And you want to take it past the visual line. Now we're going to be talking about naps, which is how you make these sound effects and how the illusion happens in, in a bite size uh, clip later on. Uh, but for now, just think as you drop it, you're going to sink in the knees. The punch comes up vertically, it comes through the target line, and then you drop straight back to your guard position. Never leave yourself open. So we're here popping it up. If we're coming in for a torso, so the plexus hit on an uppercut, we're going to do the same thing, we're going to wind up here. But as it comes in for this shot here, if we're doing reverse energy, if we're doing contact, we're going to pop it, making sure you're hitting with the flat of the hand and not the knuckles. So it comes into here. So it's a similar movement, it's still vertical, but it's just at a lower attack. So if it's coming for the solar plexus, we're here. If it's coming for a face hit, we're popping it all the way up. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you next week.